Hey Mike, why would anyone use the tone curve when you can just use the highlights and shadow sliders? Well, think of the tone curve as a more advanced version of those sliders. But instead of only having four sliders to work with, you've now got infinite because you can make a point to adjust anywhere along the curve. Do you mind if we get all nerdy for a second? Do you even have to ask? Okay, so we know that the horizontal axis on the tone curve is the input values and the vertical axis is the output values. These are values of brightness in the image with zero being pure black and 100 being pure white. At the starting point, we have a perfectly diagonal line because all of the input values are equal to the output values. We haven't changed anything yet. If you click and make a point along that diagonal line in the middle and lift it up, you're basically saying I want to brighten the midtones. The input value was around 50% on the horizontal axis, but it's now around 75% on the vertical axis. Because this is a smooth curve, you can now see that every pixel on the image has been affected, except pure white and pure black because they're pinned in the corners. If you're now thinking that the shadows have become a little bit too bright, you can grab a point on the left hand side of the curve in the shadows and drag it back down. How is this different from just using the sliders? Well, watch this. Let's say that I don't want any pure black in my image at all. I could never get rid of that with the sliders, but watch how I do it with the tone curve. Just grab the bottom left hand point in black and drag it up. The result of that is that there's now no pure black in the image. Wherever there was pure black is now 20% gray. This is a great way to simulate different film and film stock which never had pure black in its imagery. I can do it with pure white as well. I just drag the top right end point down and bingo, anything that was pure white is now 90% gray. I've just limited the tonal range of the image by using the tone curve to create my signature look.